Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead video game. And yeah guys, we're on the final chapter, episode 2. But, Jesus. Gotta be. It's a bell tower. The one that Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. What? What? Uh, there was something. <laughs> no way. It's higher than this was for starters. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Where the fuck is, um, you know, what's his name? Jeez, that hospital must have run out of doctors. Kenny, where the fuck is Kenny? <laughs> Whoa, you need, you need some, some help, help with, that? with that? I got it. Oh, shit. The bell tower? Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? Let me do it. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like that. Should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Sean of a balls. Holy shit. Why the hell are we letting the one armed guy do all the high risk maneuvers? Because the one armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing, thing looks, looks a little rickety. rickety. Maybe keep, keep that, that shit, shit to yourself, yourself next time. time. Yep. yep. Maybe you should like hold it. One step at a time. Oh fuck. <laughs> Fucking hurry, <laughs> bruh. Yeah, bruh. Jesus, you all right? Uh, yeah. How to get I'm down? Fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No kidding. Try, Try to find, find another, another way, way out. Did the, the trick, trick, pal. pal. Now get, get back, back here. here. Yeah, um, uh, <clears throat> yeah. About that. <laughs> I think I have to jump. jump. There's, There's no, no way, way back. back. You can you make, make it. it. It ain't it that ain't far. far. Yeah, uh. I'm so far. Uh, okay. Jesus. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get yeah. the hell off this roof. I was a gymnast back in the day, you know. <laughs> Damn. Determined as fuck.
Where's the boat? What the fuck? Vernon, his entire crew, they took the boat. No fucking way! They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. They fucked us! He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder he took the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. I'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us. What the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah, bruh. Badass. What? It was an accident. Small stupid thing, but yeah. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I lived through it, which is a start. And in the middle of the night, I thought it might save your life. I was lucky to get bit down on the wrist, far from anything important. But who knows? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Yeah, bruh. This is not happening. <clears throat> Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourself. It's not like that, man. What the fuck, dude? Don't engage me. Get us more, find us more time. You got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. We have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right. We get another boat. But not here. Are we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Holy shit. In the house. Shit. Bruh. Shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Go upstairs. Secure whatever you can and make sure we're alone. Done. Omi. What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Oh shit, oh fucking hell, man. Yeah, shut the fuck up, eh? Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Yeah, yeah bruh. Come on, bruh. Holy shit. Yeah, bruh. Put your knife in it. Yeah, bruh. Fuck your arm. Fuck your arm. Fuck your arm. Uh, 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 there you go. Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. 
Bitch, what's up? Guys, help me with this. Yeah, bruh. Okay, let's go. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This is all down. Baby, come on, baby. I'm out. I'm fucking out, boys. We're safe now. I think. Everyone okay? He's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kids, right? We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Nothing. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial need Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Not looking great. Or warm. I'm okay. Don't. What does that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? Don't know. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if... Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clint. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. 
Shut up, Sue. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one. This wall ain't shit. Is that really possible? Yeah, bruh. Let's go. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omi, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I've been bitten by a walker. We thought we'd kill you. Sure. We were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird to keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? Even if it just slows down the process, I do. You don't mean it. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? <laughs> and, you know, what happens to you? Well, Seriously, can you not talk like that? I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find your family, okay? Tell me she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you. I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah, of course. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Got, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man got bit. But take that for what it's worth. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm, uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than any of us. Well, as much as any of us. We'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it, both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shit <coughs> We're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry if I hurt you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to live your life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I can't help but wonder what it would cost to live that. You and me both, Doc. Well, 
cheese. I'm through. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Yeah, guys, I think this is gonna be the end of the episode. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.